New Zealanders are concerned about the damage that has been done to our forests because of the fast growing demand for wood and paper. But renewable forests using pine trees are helping the environment because the forest can be cut down and replanted again. The main idea for our film is to show you the process from when a pine seedling is first planted right through to a finished product of a completed house. But we're also going to show you how dangerous forestry work can be such as tree felling, log hauling and mill processing. Planting is a big part of forestry. Robert Skinwood and his team of planters are going out every day and planting lots of trees. Uh, the average guy plants between 800 and 1,000 trees a day. Um, the crew that planted this site, they were planting between yeah, sort of 12 guys, they were planting about 110 boxes a day. His team of 20 covers 6 to 7 kilometres every day. An average sized tree can take 20 to 30 years to grow. That's a lot. Tree felling is a very dangerous job, so you need to be focused at all times. Oh, just that you've got to be aware all the time that, that they do move without warning. And um, it's the old thing is if it's a big machine, you just keep out of the way of it. And we've got a lot of um, safety systems in place that um, we have a lot of rules when you're working around here. Before they begin, workers must put on their protective clothes such as chaps to protect their legs from flying debris. You also need earmuffs to protect your ears from the noise. A high-vis jacket is needed because if they can't see you, your high-vis jacket will stand out. First workers clear the undergrowth under the tree so that they have got an escape route for when the tree is falling. Next they cut a special V into the tree to pinpoint where the tree is going to fall. The next step is to hit wedges into the tree to make sure it falls in the right direction. Once the log has been cut down, the log hauler drags them up the hill to a machine called the Waratah, which measures the diameter of the log, which the machine cuts the log to the right size, but it all depends on the length of the log. This machine can do the job of about five men. From there it is put into a heap until it's put onto a truck to go to the saw. Then it is cut into thin bits of wood and then the sides are rounded off and then cut off. After the ends are cut off, it goes into a conveyor belt and then dropped into the holding bins ready to be stacked. Once it has been stacked, it is ready to be put into the kiln dry towers. Each stack of timber is held in the kiln dry towers for about 12 to 16 hours. Now it is ready to be wrapped and taken to different countries. There are lots of companies that buy wood that has gone through this long process. Carters is one of the companies that buy lots of wood. We interviewed Rob from Carters. Most of our timber is supplied by uh, wood products. Carter Harvey owned a company called Wood Products. And uh, we do get a lot from uh, different companies such as Lumber Corp um, and other mills around the country, just depending on supply. Um, Carters puts a big emphasis on um, health and safety in the workplace. So we try and keep all our customers and our staff safe uh, from those issues using signage that you'll see around the yard for people to slow down uh, where to and where not to walk. Forklifts are unloading the trucks. Lots of accidents can happen, such as a forklift can unload a truck and accidentally squash someone. To prevent this from happening, they have installed a beeping noise on the forklift for when it is going backwards. If there's someone behind it, the beeping noise will alert them and they will get out of the way. The next step in the process is customers and builders. Nigel Douglas is a builder. He uses 4x2 tantalised timber. Well, there's a variety of suppliers that I use. I suppose my main supplier would be Carters, um, where they'll deliver stuff to me via truck. But I do use Nati Building Supplies, Bunnings and Pyro, or Placemakers. As you have just seen, there are a lot of dangers involved in this process but it can also be an exciting job if you follow the right safety procedures.